If Dr. King came back and seen the way things are, he wouldn't be pleased with it. No, he wouldn't be pleased at all. I call us sanitation engineers because we're supposed to run the job, not let the job run us. I was 24 years old when I started, but back then it was a different ball game. Back then, working condition, it was unbearable. After three weeks, when I got my first check, I broke down and cried. We were working full time. And at the same time, the wages were so low, we was qualified to get food stamps. We were determined that we was going to get a union organized that we would see justice. We were striking for the wages, fair treatment, and dignity. When we heard that Dr. King was coming to Memphis to help us in that sanitation strike, we were very surprised. We knew then that there was somebody that cared about our struggle. We was at Mason Temple this particular night. Dr. King said, the Lord allowed me to go to the mountaintop and to look over into the promised land. And he said, I might not get there with you, but we will make it to the promised land. Everybody was just jubilated, just excited, not knowing the next day would be a day of silence. from the streets. I was a street thug. And Dr. King was the one that taught me through his humility and his leadership. I said, that's the way I like to be. So our problem need to be solved. What do we want? Now. 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 It is what it is until somebody can roll their sleeves up and get out there and fight 